My name is Daniel, and today we are diving into something exciting – how to become an iOS developer. This video is a complete roadmap for anyone looking to get into iOS development. We are going to cover everything from what iOS developers actually do day to day, the educational background you might need, the skills and tools essential for the job, and we'll break down a clear, step-by-step -step guide on how you can become an iOS developer. Plus, we'll chat a bit about job demand and salary expectations so you'll have a clear picture of what you are getting into. But before we get to the roadmap, let's talk about a cool way to earn some extra income while you build your skills. This next info is especially useful if you run a blog, YouTube channel, or have followers on social media, or an email list. I connected with the BizOffers affiliate program team, and they are seeking affiliates, skilled in digital marketing, lead generation, or blogging. Affiliate marketing is a great income option, for those who continue to grow in IT and develop their traffic sources. With an affiliate program, you can monetize your content and earn benefits by sharing product reviews with your audience. You can promote popular apps and software in parenting, phone tracking, or wellness niches with the BizOffers affiliate program. Earn commissions for each sale through your affiliate link, reaching diverse audiences. Sign up via the link below, select a product, get your affiliate link, and start promoting. BizOffers provides helpful resources for successful campaigns and pays weekly via PayPal, Wire or Payoneer. Plus, the 120-day cookies ensure commissions even during promotional pauses. Here's how to work with the program. Visit bizoffers.com, fill out the registration form and wait for confirmation. Once confirmed, log into your account and choose a product from their catalog. Get your unique affiliate link for the product you want to promote. Use the dashboard to track your campaign results and earnings. Payments are made two weeks after a sale. Ready to start? Visit the link below this video to sign up for the BizOffers affiliate program, access proven offers, and start earning. And thanks so much to BizOffer for supporting my channel. Now, let's jump right in. What do iOS developers do? Let's start with the basics. What exactly does an iOS developer do? iOS developers design, build, and maintain applications specifically for Apple's operating systems, like iOS, watchOS, and iPadOS. Their primary responsibility is to make sure apps work smoothly on Apple devices, and they are typically involved in all stages of app creation. That includes brainstorming ideas, planning the user experience, writing and testing code, debugging, and even submitting apps to the App Store. They also work closely with designers to create apps that are visually appealing, user-friendly, and functional. In addition to coding, iOS developers keep an eye on the new Apple updates and technologies to make sure their apps are compatible with the latest iOS versions. What kind of education do you need? So what kind of educational background do you need to become an iOS developer? A lot of iOS developers have a bachelor's degree in computer science, software engineering, or a related field. These degrees help you build a strong foundation in programming, algorithms, and problem-solving. However, here is the good news. Having a degree isn't a strict requirement. Many iOS developers are self-taught or have gone through bootcamps specifically for iOS development. Apple's development ecosystem is accessible and you can absolutely learn the skills you need without a formal degree. So, if you are driven, patient, and ready to put in the time, you can go the self-taught route or join a coding bootcamp focused on iOS development. Essential skills and tools for iOS developers Alright, now let's talk about the essential skills and tools you need. iOS development has its own set of languages, frameworks, and tools. So let's break down the key ones. Programming languages First and foremost, you will need to know Swift. Swift is Apple's programming language. And it's pretty much the backbone of iOS development. It's relatively easy to pick up for beginners, but powerful enough for advanced applications. If you're planning to dive deep, Swift is where you should start. There's also Objective-C, an older language for iOS development. While it's not as popular now, knowing a bit of Objective-C can be helpful, especially if you end up working on older apps or with a team that uses it. But to get started, focus on Swift, guys. Xcode. Xcode is the integrated development environment, IDE, used for building iOS apps. It's the main tool where you'll write your code, design your app's interface, test your app, and debug issues. Familiarizing yourself with Xcode is critical because it's where you'll be doing all your work. UIKit and SwiftUI UIKit and SwiftUI are frameworks for building your app's user interface. UIKit has been around longer and is used in many existing apps, but SwiftUI is newer 
more modern and is quickly becoming Apple's preferred UI framework. Ideally learn both. But if you are just starting out, you can focus on SwiftUI since it's the future of iOS development. Core Data and Cloud Kit These are essential for handling data. Core Data is used for managing data within the app, while Cloud Kit is Apple's framework for working with cloud data. Knowing how to manage data is important since most apps need to store and retrieve information. Version Control Finally, you will need to know Git. This is essential for tracking changes in your code, collaborating with others, and rolling back to previous versions of your app. Git is a must-have tool in almost every software development job. How to become an iOS developer – a step-by-step -step guide. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Now let's get to the big question. How do you become an iOS developer? Here is a step-by-step -step roadmap to guide you along the way. Step 1. Learn the basics of programming before jumping straight into Swift. It helps to have a foundation in programming. Learn some basic concepts like variables, loops, functions, and classes. You can start with any language. But Swift is a great option if you know you want to focus on iOS. Step 2. Master Swift and Xcode Swift is the core language you'll need. Spend time mastering the basics of Swift and start exploring Xcode, Apple's IDE. There are tons of free and paid resources online to help you learn Swift and Xcode from scratch. Step 3. Build small projects Once you've got a handle on Swift, start building simple projects. Try creating a basic calculator app or a to-do list. These projects help you apply what you've learned and give you practice in building and debugging code. Step 4. Learn about UIKit and SwiftUI. As you progress, start learning UIKit and SwiftUI for designing user interfaces. You can begin by building simple screens and layouts, and then expand to more complex ones. SwiftUI is especially beginner-friendly, so you might want to start there. Step 5. Practice data handling with core data and CloudKit. As you advance, learn how to work with data. Core Data lets you save data on the device, while CloudKit allows you to sync data to the cloud. Try creating an app that saves user info locally or syncs data between devices. Step 6. Work on a portfolio project. Once you've practiced with small projects, start a portfolio project. This should be a fully functional app that shows off all the skills you've learned so far. It could be a weather app, a recipe book, or any idea you're passionate about. This app will be crucial in showcasing your skills to potential employers. Step 7. Learn Git and work on collaboration skills. Get comfortable using Git for version control. If you plan to work with a team, knowing Git will be essential for collaborating on code. Try working on an open source project or collaborating with a friend to get some experience. Step 8. Apply for internships or junior positions. With your skills, portfolio, and some practice interviews under your belt, start applying for entry-level positions. Internships are a great way to get real-world experience and can often lead to full-time positions. Demand and salary expectations So what's the job outlook for iOS developers? And what kind of salary can you expect? iOS development is a high-demand field, folks. With Apple products as popular as ever, there's a constant need for skilled iOS developers and this demand is expected to grow in the coming years. In terms of salary, according to Glassdoor, iOS developers in the US can earn anything in the range of 101k to 174k annually. So the average pay for these professionals is around 132k a year, which is not bad at all. As a junior iOS developer with little to no experience, you can start around $60,000 to $80,000 annually. Senior developers, especially those with 5 plus years of experience, can easily make $170,000 or more, depending on location and the company. So guys with a strong portfolio and solid skills, iOS development offers great career growth, competitive pay, and a chance to build apps that millions of people might use every day. Final thoughts. Is getting into iOS development worth it? Alright, so after covering all of that, let's answer the big question. Is getting into iOS development really worth it? If you are interested in tech, love Apple products, or just enjoy the idea of creating apps that millions of people might actually use every day, then iOS development could be a fantastic career choice. It's a field with steady demand and impressive salaries, plus it offers a lot of room for creativity and growth iOS developers are some of the highest paid app developers out there, and the skills you learn are super transferable. Not only can you work for a tech company, but you can also go freelance, build your own apps, or even work on contracts 
if you want more flexibility. But here's the thing, folks, it's not an easy path. You'll need to put in the time to learn Swift, master Xcode, and practice building apps. It can be challenging, especially in the beginning. But if you are ready to stick with it, the payoff can be huge, both financially and personally. So yes, iOS development can definitely worth it if you are up for the challenge. If you are passionate about coding and excited about the idea of working in the Apple ecosystem, it's absolutely a career path worth exploring. All right, my friends, and that's all about my iOS development roadmap. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.